My name is Dalloway Smith and I will be playing the fourth movement of Elgar's Cello Concerto in E minor. I started playing cello when I was five, so in my family we have a rule where you have to start playing an instrument at five because music is very important in my family. And I knew immediately what I wanted to choose, that I wanted to choose cello because my mom play cello for like a few years and I would remember when I was like three years old sitting at her end pin and looking up and watching her practice and just being mesmerized by it. So when I turned five, I was like, I want to play cello and the rest is history. <laughs> I like playing the cello because I always had lots of classical music in my home growing up. I was very exposed to that. I, something about the cello, its tone, the richness of its sound, it's most like the human voice because of its range and it can do so much and whenever I was hearing classical music and a cello solo would come on, a ear would always perk up a little bit. And I love playing it because I feel so connected with the cello, it's a part of me and it's just the best form of communication I have because sometimes it's the best way to uh, be vulnerable with people and to communicate your emotions and to get a message across I feel like and I've always been addicted to that feeling and making people happy and it it's always seems like whenever I play cello I brighten somebody's day and that's what's really important to me. <laughs> I love this piece so much. I think I've played it probably a million times by now, but every time it's still, I still love it. And it's got everything you could possibly want in a concerto movement. It's got beautiful lyricism, beautiful melodies, but it's got some ferocity to it and these technical showy parts. And it's just this amazing, if you've ever listened to the full Elgar Cello Concerto, it's just the perfect culmination of all of this amazing concerto, and I just love playing it. I think playing with this orchestra, it's gonna be magical, I think it's, Already from my rehearsals, I've learned that it's, it's confirmed by suspicions that this is really what I like doing and what I want to do. It's just so magical and, and I love Shane the conductor, so I, I love that communication. I'm a big, I play a lot of chamber music and so whenever I get to connect with other musicians, that makes me very happy and I think the performance is just going to be life changing and I'm excited. <laughs> Playing the cello has, honestly, I think the most valuable thing it's taught me is, is work ethic. How I do in school, like, and how I do my homework, and how I'm able to work hard, and how I communicate with others, all, like, stemmed from this, this growing up, practicing every day, having a structure, learning how to just work hard on a piece, perform it, and then start working again on something else. Um, and that work ethic has really served me well. My mom always says, that if you can get on a stage in front of lots of people just with your instrument and play for them and be that vulnerable, you can, you can do a lot of things in life. It's, it's one of the scariest, most rewarding experiences that's taught you so much the process leading up to that, but getting on that stage is going to serve you so well in the rest of your life because you know, like, I've done this, I've done scary things before, like, I can, I can take on whatever life throws at me. Mm -hmm.